<sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm recording this on the 26th of January, 2014. Um, just so if you're looking at this at a future time, you'll know, you know pretty much when this is happening. And what had happened the day before, um, we got some news that rocked pretty much the entire internet, as most of us know it. Um, and it's not even that much of a hyperbole either, because because when it all when the news came down, yeah, we you know, I mean of course those of us closer to him, to uh, to Justin, you know, we were we were obviously affected by it. Um, you know, people were crying and, and and going through the stages of grief, which is perfectly natural, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, you know, I mean, even I eventually broke down. Um, I like to think I'm a pretty stoic guy, you know. I mean, yeah, sometimes maybe A tier rolls if something really powerful happens. Um, or if I listen to just one person from Snoopy at just the right moment. <laughs> but this eventually ended up just breaking me. And, and not in the, not in the roll on the floor laugh breaking. I mean, like, broke down crying. Um, and it, it took my best friend asking me why. Why, why did he do it? For those who don't know, um, if you're watching this and you don't already know, um, Thursday, the, what is today, the 26th? 23rd. 23rd of January, um, uh, Justin Carmichael, uh, Juario, to those who knew him or worked with him or seen him in places like Retroware and, and, and That Guy with the Glasses and, and even Project Million Entertainment for a while. Um, uh, but he committed suicide this past Thursday. Um, Self-inflicted gunshot wound. And the news obviously very shocked. Um, how I ended up finding out about it was was Sean Faust, Hope Within Chaos, was on Twitter and, and he was he was worried about Juario and so I went and investigated his wall because, you know, I, I'm, I was Facebook friends with him. And, um, <clears throat> and, and hell, I even, you know, his Facebook fan page, I was the one who started it. <laughs> um, and it's simply because he he and, and at the time, uh, Mars Girl was also, they were, they were kind of like, you know, yeah, we wouldn't mind having pages, but we don't want to start them. It would seem wrong for us to start them. So I just said, fuck it, and just gave them both one. <laughs> um, which they were very thankful for. I know this. I know they were very thankful for it. Um, that's, that's the thing about Justin, is um, no matter what, I, I always knew he, he was very thankful for all of his fans. He loved his fans, he loved his friends. Even the ones he didn't get to interact with much. Um, there's there's a video clip of him going around and I might close out this video with it. I don't know. Um, I mean, you'll you'll know for sure by the end of this. But, um, but it's his, his, some of his most powerful, potent, and I would say famous words that he's ever said to somebody, and, and I was, I have the honor of actually being there when he said those words, and now more than ever, they just hit home, you know, because, because this is how he, this is how he rolls, you know, I mean, this is, well, how he rolled, rather, uh, I, I guess I'm still adjusting to the fact that he is really gone, um, obviously I'm, I'm okay enough to function. Um, I mean, after this, I'll do some work I've needed to do, but it, it, it's still the last bits of adjustment are happening, you know. But, you know, and I got to meet him a couple of times. Um, if you follow my site, rtgober.com, um, I actually have, I've been going through the process of reposting my videos anyway, but this particular one, I put a rush order on because Justin was in it and he had a little bit of a prominent place in it. Um, it's my uh, second MAGFest vlog from 2012. Um, 
if you want to go see him. I'll, I'll leave the link somewhere, probably below, if you want to go see it. Um, I think he's most prominent around the seven minute mark, I think. Um, I'll, 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 the info will be there to be sure. But, um, that's, you know, that's another thing to share with, share with you guys about him, you know? <sighs> In hindsight, nobody answered that question you'll ask either. What question? You'll see. But he was, he was really nice and, and you know, he was always really nice and, and very friendly. That, that's the, that's the main consistent consensus that's going around, you know, and, and I can't deny that. I really can't. And, and, you know, a bunch of us at one point, we were, we were going through some hardships with cer cer certain someone else. Um, and those who know me and the, the situation, you know, who I'm talking about. And when most of us were just exasperated or, or tired of dealing with it or just feeling really hopeless, he stepped up. You know, he stepped up and, and say, you know what, no, this is bullshit, you know. And, you know, he stood up for us. And, and I've, I've always appreciated him for that. I wish, wish I could have told him. I should have told him. I mean, the last time I saw him was literally about three weeks ago at MAGFest when... Um, uh, he actually helped with a raffle drawing. A uh, guy by the name of Square Painter, he does the pixel art paintings or what have you. And he had this awesome Mega Man 3 ending painting that he had done up. And it was up for raffle. And Justin was the one who was there and he was drawing the tickets and everything. And I ended up winning. <laughs> uh, and if you don't believe me... There it is, right there. <laughs> but, oh, lower you down a little bit. Okay, yeah. But, um, but yeah, Justin was the one who drew the, drew the winning number. <laughs> uh, back up a little more. I'm always fidgeting. But, but I'm sure, you know. I mean, what else can I say, you know? <laughs> what, what, what can be said that hasn't already been said? But, uh, but yeah, I mean, watching everybody grieve and come together. It, it, right here, man. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go on show must go on, right? <laughs> you know, that, that's one of those big theatrical credos, you know? The show must go on. Through pain or sorrow, happiness and sadness, love and joy, the show must go on. And I honestly, I don't think he would have wanted it any other way. If you're still grieving, take your time. Don't rush it. You know, if you're not ready to move on, if you if you're not ready to face the world yet, take your time, okay? Seriously. And when you're ready, hop back in, you know, or maybe not hop back in. Maybe take baby steps first, just little baby steps. But either way, when you're ready, well, I'll be waiting for you. I, I know I am. As ready as I'm going to be. And, and when any of you, if you watch this, if you need a shoulder, you need a friend, you need an ear, or, or if you need, you know, a punching bag, <laughs> I will, I will happily oblige. Okay? So, to all of you out there, who knew him? are grieving and are still saddened and, and then just know that we all know that he loved us all fan friend you know yeah <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore so just take care you guys 
And we'll miss you, Justin. We'll miss you a lot, man. I don't know. I don't know what that gesture was. <laughs> you know what? I, I want you all to look at me. I want you all to look at me. I want you to, because what I'm about to say is, is important. I think I've been thinking about this a lot, a lot lately. And I want you all to know this. This goes out to everybody. You're not stupid. Okay? You're not stupid. Don't ever tell yourself that you are. You're important. What you have in your head may not mean a lot to a lot of people. But it what's what makes you special. You are important. You mean something. And you're going to go out there and you're going to do some wonderful things. But first and foremost, you're not stupid. You're not an idiot. Don't ever tell yourself that you are and if nobody else ever tells you this I will tell you this I care about you